everybody and welcome to Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum Sew and Tell for the month of September. I'm Lynn Washington, manager of, manager of our Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum store in Littleton. Um, we've got some great projects for you today from OESD and Scissor Tail Stitches. I'm going to start with um, a project that, a disc that I don't actually have any samples for. Um, kind of had a short month and ran out of time to get things done. So I'm going to work on getting some of this done for our next filming. But every year, OESD comes out with a collection. Um, there's three discs in the collection. The first one this year is ornaments, cards, and gift tags. Um, then there's going to be some other freestanding projects and then some embroidery designs that go with it. The nice thing about this project or this design disc is when you spend $79 in the store on OESD products, then you get this disc at no charge. So come in, buy some fun things, get some stabilizer, get some cards or blanks from OESD, and then you get the disc at no charge. It's a $79 value no charge to you. So this year it's called Warm Wishes and they'll be um, each month, September, October, and November, each month will have a different disc for you available. So you'll be able to get those at any of the stores. So that's Warm Wishes. Um, they, we have some fun seasonal stuff. I'm going to show you one of the projects from one of the design discs for last month. This was a really popular disc. It's called Baby Safari. And Megan, who is expecting Preston in October, made this fun little wall hanging. It's just these cute animals. She has great fabric that has some of the animals on the fabric that goes with the design. The zebras, I think, are my favorite, but they're just a great collection. Um, Hannah did it on a onesie. Terry did it on a burp cloth. There's just a lot of different ways that you could use this project from um, design disc from OESD. It's probably scissor tail stitches called Baby Safari. And then moving on to projects for this month, um, OESD, you know, is a great company for free standing projects. They have um, a disc this month called Free Standing little lanterns and it's a collection of lanterns that you can make. Um, Megan and Hannah both made them for us. Hannah used just um, kind of some see-through organza fabric, has a little bit of sparkle, made all four of them the same with the sparkle fabric, put a little candle in the middle and then Megan did a really cute thing. She made freestanding lace for two of the sides. And then the other two sides, she used the new sparkle vinyl from OSD. So it gives it kind of that fun glitter. She used the green on this one to match the freestanding lace. And then this one, she used the purple and the green both. Um, to match, so she's got lace on two sides and then vinyl on the other two sides. So these are just a fun project, easy to make, easy to put together. There are uh, four different styles. One of them actually looks like a candy corn, which candy corn is one of my favorite things. So I may have to get busy and get that one made. So these are Little Lanterns by OESD. We do have all of these discs in the store. If you're not able to get to the store or you need um, instant gratification, if you go to our website, on the website there's a tab that says products, when you, or shop, uh, shop our products. When you click on that, you're gonna get a drop down menu. One of the items on the drop down menu is embroidery. If you click on that, it will take you to a landing page that has a link. And as soon as you click that link, it takes you directly to the OESD slash scissor tail stitches website. So you can order your designs right there on their website. So little lanterns, um, that's gonna be great for the fall. And then another that's just kind of seasonal, 
or summary or whatever you want to call it is called Happy Plants. It is also by Scissor Tail Stitches. Everybody just fell in love with this when we saw it. So Terry, because she loves to do different kinds of things, she um, actually stitched her design on a piece of balsa wood and then glued it onto a wooden planter that she had. So with the balsa wood, what she did was she fused um, Floriani's cutaway medium um, stabilizer to the back of it. Um, and then she put sticky paper in her hoop. She stuck the piece of balsa wood to the sticky paper, put water soluble stabilizer over the top of it, and then just stitched it out. And then she cut it out and glued it onto this cute little wooden box. Hers says, I wet my plants. I just love, um, I, you guys know I love puns. I just love the puns that um, OESD and Sister's Tail Stitches come up with for their designs. So that's one of the designs. One of the other designs, I'm not going to take it off here, but it is a garden apron. So Mallory found the garden apron on Amazon and she stitched out one of the designs in kind of some fun blues and grays. It says, sorry, I have plants for the weekend. So she's got that great garden apron that she can do. And then I took that same design, sorry, I have plants this weekend, stitched out a couple other designs and made a wall hanging. I really did this because we had these beautiful fabrics at the store and I had to figure out a way to use them. They're all three grunge. This gold one actually has gold metallic on it, so it's just got a little bit of shine to it. I just love the way it looks. This was an all grunge project because even this background is grunge fabric. And it's just a fun, I think in fall colors, just kind of a great um, project that you could do with all the different plants. If you have someone in your family or friends that like plants, this is a perfect project for them. So this is um, Happy Plants by Scissor Tail Stitches. And it's just a fun project that you can do quickly and easily. So then moving on to some of our more uh, seasonal Christmassy kind of projects, we have, um, for those of you who are uh, in working on or have done some of the village, the winter village um, by OESD, they have a whole collection of freestanding um, free buildings that you can make your own village. Uh, Rebecca in our Aurora store made the police station. So rather than doing it all in white, like it shows on the disc, she did it in the colors. I just love the way it looks. I, I admire and um, I mean, I wish I had the patience to do all of this, but this is a little bit more time consuming for me. Um, I just like things that I can get done with a little, a little bit faster, but isn't this beautiful, this police station that Rebecca made for us? So that's the police station from the Winter Village. And then uh, Amber, who also does great projects, made for us, let me reach and get this. Um, this is a great project. Um, it is by Scissor Tail Stitches. It's called Light the Menorah Wall Hanging. And what's really nice about this is she said it was quick and easy to put together. She also used grunge on hers. But what's really nice about this project, it's just done in blocks, all the blocks are put together. But these candles are freestanding and they have Velcro on the back of them. So as you work through Hanukkah, you can add the candles to the menorah and it you can just kind of follow the season as um, you go through it and this is she said it was just really easy it was just a lot of pieces with some embroidery on it there's also some applique but it's just a beautiful project um, for the holidays um, called light the menorah by scissor tail stitches 
And then continuing with the Christmas theme, our last disc this month is called Warm Winter Wishes. It's also by Scissor Tail Stitches. I think if I could have, I probably would have sewn almost every design on this disc because I just loved um, kind of the way they looked and how they stitched out. Um, Mallory helped me with this. She found um, this pillow on Amazon. She, so it was a pre-sewn pillow. She cut the seams off of three sides. It has an invisible zipper in it. She cut the seams off of three sides, which gave her a flat pillow to work with. She did the embroidery on the pillow, sewed it back up on her serger, added a pillow for him, and she has a beautiful, quick, easy pillow for Christmas coming up. It says mistletoe kisses on it. Um, I just love the way it looks. And then, um, I stitched out, they had this cute cocoa cup. I had a great tan and white check towel at home. We carry these at the store. It says magic, has a little cup of cocoa, just kind of a fun, doesn't necessarily have to be just um, Christmas time. This could carry over into winter. It's just kind of a winter theme and just a really cute, quick, easy, project that you could do for somebody for Christmas. And then also um, we had gotten in this beautiful piece of grunge and I just was trying to figure out what to do with it. It just, to me, really said snowflakes. It just kind of is a light blue. I had the white glitter grunge. So I used the blue grunge, the white glitter grunge, some metallic thread and made a pillow Again, more of a winter theme than a Christmas theme, but it says, let it snow. I put the cool flap on the back and just kind of a fun winter pillow. It was funny because I was at the store. We had somebody looking at fabric. She saw this blue fabric and I told her, I said, I bought it because I wanted to make a pillow, a winter pillow. And she said, oh, it said beach to me. So it's fun how everybody can interpret different fabrics in different ways. So this is Let It Snow. And then the last project, unfortunately, I ran out of time. I wasn't able to get it done, but this is one of the larger designs on the disc. It's a set of ornaments um, that has some stitching over it. It's just kind of a fun, whimsical design. This is a really pretty piece of green um, glitter grunge that we had at the store. So my plan is to make a second one of these, add it to the other side, and somehow make this into a table runner for Christmas. It just actually came off of the machine last night. So it's not done, but I'll work on having it done and hanging in the store before too long. So those are all the projects I have for you this month. Um, we're pretty excited that we're back in the stores. So we're in person at the stores doing so fun. Uh, we have all of the designs available in the stores um, or we can send them to you. If you want to call the store, we can get them to you that way. But thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to tune in tomorrow because Lisa will be doing so fun for us this month. And she's got all kinds of great projects, um, some seasonal, just some kind of fun, different projects. And we look forward to seeing you at one of our four stores. We have three in the metro area and one in the Springs. So thanks so much for joining us.